Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, inch to inch and a half of soaking rain today. The downpours have come to an end. We're left with some mist and drizzle, a lot of moisture, a lot of humidity in the air. So that's leaving us with some low clouds and even locally dense fog, especially along the south shore. This is Newport with drizzle and dense fog right now. Temperatures that are in the 50s in most locations. But you can see some of the lowest numbers in terms of visibility light right along the south shore lower part of Narragansett Bay and just offshore. So the dense fog advisory for southern suburbs until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Rainfall totals as expected anywhere from inch to an inch and a half, inch and three quarters in Smithfield, even an inch along the uh, south coast. Again, the downpours are gone for now. I wouldn't rule out an additional downpour or heavier rain shower coming through uh, during the overnight, but it's mostly mist and drizzle. You can see that on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. We widen out the view, tracking an area of low pressure. This will be moving north and east, and this will help to enhance some additional rainfall during the overnight and very early tomorrow morning. But we do expect some pretty significant improvement later tomorrow morning and especially tomorrow afternoon. This moisture across the southern plains arrives by Friday. Friday afternoon and evening. That's the next chance for some showers. Notice the clearing off to our west and through the Great Lakes. And this will be moving in later tomorrow morning and especially tomorrow afternoon. Once the sun comes out, it's going to warm the temperatures up nicely. In the meantime, tracking the dew point, the high humidity up and down the east coast, shaded in light green. Now the drier air is shaded in brown, low dew point numbers. And you can see that just off to our west. So this is the punch of drier air that will come in later tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. That will erode the clouds, bring out the sun, and bring up the temperature temperatures well into the 60s for uh, later tomorrow afternoon. Get in real close. Take a look at future cast. Starting off right about now, we'll take you through the overnight. You still see some splotches of green indicating some showers overnight. 7 o'clock in the morning, some fog and a leftover shower. This should end rapidly. Roads will be damp tomorrow morning for the morning commute. But by late morning and early afternoon, you see the breaks of sunshine. The temperatures responding nicely. Mid and upper 60s. 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we're looking pretty good. And then by 6 o'clock tomorrow evening, 65 degrees with some sunshine. Beautiful evening and tomorrow night looks fine with clear skies along with uh, pleasant temperatures. Leftover showers around dawn tomorrow. Some damp roads to start. A little bit of fog starting off at 54. Give it until about say 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. We'll start to see some brightening and then increasing sunshine. Beautiful tomorrow afternoon as your temperatures top out in the upper 60s. Seven day future cast showers on Friday mainly for afternoon and evening. The morning looks dry 63. Weekend not bad. A little milder on Saturday. 68, slightly cooler on Sunday with a mix of clouds and sun. 65 Monday. Look at this much advertised big warm up next week. 70s on Tuesday, 80s on Wednesday, and probably Thursday and Friday of next week. We're talking about temperatures in the 80s as well. So a real blast of summer next week. And again, better weather for tomorrow, especially by tomorrow afternoon. All right. Thank you, Tony. Coming up next on I Would.